Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 24 of Let's Play Wind Waker, and oh, first step I take and this guy shows up. What's your deal, buddy? Get out of here. Oh, that's a pleasant start to the dungeon. Well, actually we started the dungeon last time because we got the dungeon map up there. And uh, now we got this little pseudo lock to deal with. It's been forever since I've been as if since I've done a Zelda dungeon. I, it feels weird. But anyways, what you want to do with this kind of like plant lock is to take this nut over here. And uh, if it isn't obvious already, just <laughs> yeah, just throw it at yourself. Why not? There you go. I didn't I didn't even know that you could actually hurt yourself with that nut. That's kind of funny. Mm. So I haven't done this dungeon in a while, so I might be a little bit rusty on it, but it shouldn't be too hard. Man, this is a big room. You know, this is actually a room you're going to have to come back to later once you get the dungeon item, because it's something to do here. But for now, I think we'll just work from the bottom up. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. That was silly of me to do. Alright. Oh, these guys are going to be a piece of cake later in the dungeon. Because the dungeon item, once you get... Oh my god. <laughs> once you get it, it totally just annihilates them. It's so much fun to do. Alright, uh, yeah, so you can get rid of these little piles of leaves just like that if you're ever in need of supplies. Usually it'll have something for you. I think this one has a fairy, maybe? Uh, no. Wait, no, it does! Okay, I was right. I knew how- I knew one of those had a fairy. It was just a matter of figuring out which one. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, you can partake that. What is that nasty sound I hear? I hear the glushing and gloshing of a choo-choo. Oh, it is. Hello. I forget what the what the Deku Leaf does to Choo Choo's, if anything. Oh, it kind of like blows them back. Ew! Oh my god, that was scary. I don't know if I was the only one to, that noticed that, but like there was this. Okay, I'll show. I'll try and show it again. Cause, like when I did that, there's this weird effect. Oh well, shoot. I know what it what it looks like is like they rebounded for a second and they like slowly melded their way back to their normal shape. It was so scary. I don't know. You might want to rewind and see that if you didn't. Uh, yeah, so to open this chest, it might be a little bit persnickety, because you're like, well, to get rid of this guy, I need a nut or something. But you don't have a nut here. I mean, I have a nut. I have two, in fact, but, uh, what you actually need is a stick. And if one of those guys dropped a stick before, that would be nice. Dude, get past the tree. There's rupees. I don't need rupees right now, though. I will later, but... Uh, damn. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a stick. It totally blended in. That was awesome. I guess it would blend in into the forest and all. Anyways, I don't think you need to do this, but I like to light this on fire. Just to make it all that more painful to the stupid thing. And there you go. Amazingly, it doesn't burn the chest. Oh my god, Knight's Crest. Cool. This is like the second one in the game. You're actually going to need ten of these throughout the game. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that before. I probably did, knowing my psychotic ass. Anywho, now that we've done all we can down here... Let's work our way up to the top. Well, actually, not up to the top. Just we're going like a third of the way to the top right now, and uh, we'll go to the top later. We'll have to come back here and do that. Mm, I can't exactly. Oh my God! No! What? <laughs> I just launched myself right into that one. That was totally a Three Stooges moment. Oh my, dude! That thing launches me right into that. There's no way to avoid that. That's so scary. All right. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go over to that one. Cause that's oh actually I could probably make it to this one, couldn't I? Uh uh, not quite. Maybe if I'd let go at the right time I could have, but also something a little bit noteworthy about these plants is that they refill your magic a little bit whenever you land in one. You see how my magic was a little bit depleted there from the deck leaf and just kinda went up. Alright, oh shoot, I'm not gonna make that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's see if we can make it back at least. Dude, oh my god, I didn't want to do a U-turn. Alright, oh, dude, I'm so sucky. I'm so bad at maneuvering the Deku Leaf. Not that you have to do that often, it's just... I don't know. It's crazy to think that just such a simple movement could be so difficult to pull off. And another one of these guys. These guys are everywhere. Uh, oh, jeez, oh my god. <laughs> ah, that would have been so hilarious if that knocked me off the edge. Yeah, but this is what you have to use this for. And they will close their eye if you get too close to them, like you saw there, so be sure to be far enough away when that bomb blows up. I don't know if I was. Yeah, it was. Don't need that again. Nice. Alright, uh, this room. 
This room pissed me off the first time I came through the game because I I didn't know what to do because I I blew that that was simple enough to get over to get this over here and I thought like okay so I have to blow that one. Wait what? That's not supposed to work. Okay, well you're supposed to just actually like blow that way to accelerate yourself forward and get over here. You're not supposed to actually blow that other one to get across, but apparently that works. I don't know what I was doing wrong the first time. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, so a recurring theme you're going to be noticing throughout this dungeon is, like, uh, the presence of P-Hats. And actually, what you can do, if you want, because you're going to need a lot of these later on, is that you can use your grappling hook and get a golden feather from them. Is that seriously the first one I've gotten? <laughs> That's... No! I could have sworn I got one. Okay, I guess I didn't get one in Dragon Roost. Dude, oh my god, Dragon Roost! Oh, I, I, <laughs> just think about that, that made me think of the heart container. Man, I have to go back and get that. Maybe at the end of this recording, I don't know. Depending on how I'm feeling. Maybe I should go back and get that right now just to mess with everyone. It's like, oh, you thought we were doing a dungeon today? Nope, sorry. Yeah. You can also use the grappling hook on these guys to get their uh, little seeds, but they drop it so frequently that it's not even really consequential to do that. Plus, you don't really need them that much. Like, you only need four for a blue potion from the guy. The potion shop. So, uh, it's just like, whatever. They're a dime a dozen, really. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do a jump attack. Like, I pressed, like, the the X and the A button at the same time. I was trying to press the X button just to do the Deku Leaf thing to blow his face. But I ended up pressing both, and apparently the A button overrides the X button. This I did not know. Cool. Alright, uh... I could have sworn there was a joy pendant in one of those nuts. Apparently I'm mistaken. That's so funny when you see a joy pendant just like appear like that. <laughs> like there's this whole violent explosion of like a pod or a nut or whatever it is. And then in the middle of it, it's just the joy pendant sitting perfectly still. Like totally unmoving. It's like, what in the world? It's like there's no way that would happen in real life. Of course there's no way any of this would happen in real life, so what am I complaining about? Oh, and that's sad to think about. Yeah, so see, this is an example of, like, you probably you probably couldn't possibly hit that one from where you were over there to get across here, so you'd have to use that uh, alternative method of thrusting your way across. Mm. What? Dude! Don't just throw the nut. At least it broke on impact, because if they don't break, then, like, uh, you have to wait for them to deteriorate, which can take a few minutes. Alright, drop it. Yeah, I forgot about the controls of the GameCube being so wonky with the R button to drop. So that's a little bit of a more complex puzzle. Nothing too big yet, though. Mm. Oh, man, that's cool. I, did, I never noticed that there was, like, a hole there that you can see the thing. Oh, man. That makes me want a mirror shield or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. That was absolutely perfect. You see the vines, wait five seconds, and then run into them. You know, that's like, that's like if you were driving on the highway, a deer ran in front of your car, you stopped, and the deer stopped, you stare at each other for like a minute, and then you just kept driving and hit the deer anyways. Like, like what? <laughs> actually, probably more, a better example with a moose, because a moose would actually probably kill you if you ran into it. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the main hub room of the place you're going to find. And you could head down there and like figure out stuff down there. I don't think there's much of consequence down there, though. Can I say down there more? Yeah, and don't forget about your grappling hook. They tend to, like, flaunt this in your face throughout the whole game. Like, you, it's the first item you get, the grappling hook. So, do, oh my god. Oh my jeez. Alright, let's try this again. I knew I should have waited for this platform, but... I don't know, these platforms are cool. They're almost like the arms of the tree, or of the Forbidden Woods. That's the way I like to think of it anyways. Alright, oh man, we got a real lock over here instead of one of those pseudo-plant locks. Which means we're going to need a real key instead of a wooden one. But we do have, uh... Oh, what? No! <laughs> that nut should be floating, I don't... Is the nut full of lead? Like, come on. Might as well do this. <laughs> oh my god, most uh, luxurious use of a deco leaf ever. Alright, so, yeah, you need the nut to open that door over there. 
But if you head up here, uh, you can open up your second warp spot, which would be pretty useful if you need to come back here for anything, if you want to like, grind gold feathers or anything. You can do that. I love how it's submerged in the ground. It's like they don't trust trust you or something. I don't know. I don't know what that means. No, that's the third time you've done that shit to me, and I'm about sick of it. <laughs> Link, what? Oh, this is cool. I never really noticed this. I never really walked around on this thing. I would totally sleep on it, though. Does anyone have... Oh, dude, you pressed the A button to use your Deku Leaf. Really? Really? Are we gonna... Okay. I need to stop sucking. I'm telling you what. <laughs> I just need to... Oh, my God. Like, if there's no one on this planet right now that's sucking more at Wind Waker than me. Out of all seven billion people... However many are there are right now playing Wind Waker, I don't know. But I'm being the worst at it. Oh, God. Okay. Now let's see if we can do this right. Do this justice. Jeez, I fell down three times. Just trying to get the warp pot and get the stupid door open. Am I finally going to be able to get it this time? You know, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't get it, just so I could say, APPARENTLY NOT! But no. Oh, this is a cool hallway. What's that wooden creaky- Oh, those are, those are, those are these things. Yeah, these frickin' morths. Look at this, I've got so spike armor, this is cool. Oh, there's like a finite amount of them that you can hold on one time, that's why those other two won't get on, that's cool. Yep. There's a few different ways you can get these guys off, but this is the most effective. You can also, like, blow them away with the deck relief, which could, uh, come into play later on if you really want. There's, like, a certain room I'm thinking of where the deck relief is fun to use against them. It's so fun, too, because they, like, go up at an arc, and they, like, blow away. But they're just, like, staring at you the whole time, so it's like, what? It's like, please don't let me fly away. 